Welcome back to another video. Today we will be playing yet another trash Jojo game. The developer added Made in Heaven and fixed buffed Kakyoin. We will defeat him and obtain Made in Heaven in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. Let's start with obtaining Made in Heaven. The first thing we need to do is to defeat the lower priest. He will drop a crescent talisman upon death. This item will allow us to teleport to Pooch's domain and fight him. I'm doing this before obtaining White Snake or Sea Moon because I don't have a storage disk to store them. This priest shouldn't be underestimated as well. He has many followers around him, masking his location. They can use wind magic and you will be stunned for a few seconds if you are hit. Only the priest can take damage, so focusing your attacks on the group won't work. The priest is usually slower and there is an HP display on his head. I recommend using far ranged AoE skills to hit him. You must keep moving during your attacks, or you might get hit by one of their skills. The gun spec does come in handy against this boss, since I can run and shoot simultaneously. This is going to become a shooting simulator. Let's hope the war against the priest will end soon. I fell into a pit while making my way back to the boss, and I feel like the developer added this on purpose. We ended that boss fight with a bang. Now let's pick up our spoil and obtain Sea Moon. We will first obtain White Snake using Stand Arrows, and then use a Green Baby to evolve it. White Snake took me pretty long to get, so I'm going to tell you some interesting facts. Shockingly, you can hurt yourself with Aerosmith in autopilot mode. I didn't wow. know the game was this realistic. You can finally dismount off your horse by pressing control. But it becomes extremely slow on your second ride. The last and final fact is. It took me 20 minutes to obtain White Snake. The developer gave some weird names for these stands. Alright, now we need a green baby. The only way of getting it is by trading with the cage trader, so let's head into the jungles. You must give him one toy thing for the green baby. You can get the toy from Bomb Dude Guy, located near the stone giant. The drop chance is roughly 15%, but we can trade immediately, since I already have one. Look at his waist. Why is it so thin? Now we will talk to a former lower priest near Rohan. We will give him our talisman, so he can use it and teleport us to Pooch's cathedral. This is where we will fight him, and evolve our sea moon into Maiden Heaven. This place gives me a very eerie vibe, and I was expecting a jump scare. We must enter this curtain of fog to begin the boss fight. I was confused for a moment, since I didn't know you must click the fog to enter. Surprise, as expected, I died almost immediately. What surprised me is I respawned. This means we can fight him an infinite amount of times. His HP goes back to max after you die. So it can also be a mental asylum. Luckily for me, I've already found a way to kill him. And that is using my guns. That's right. We will cheese the entire cult with guns. The only gun that sucks in my arsenal is the Tommy gun. It keeps missing most close range shots, even though it should perform best at close range. The only solution to this is to use this gun at far range. It's good that we are using Sea Moon, since we can manipulate gravity and pin Poochie to the ground, while we back away and use our Tommy gun. Poochie also has three phases. He will go into each phase once you have dealt enough damage. He just entered the second phase, and his stand evolved into Sea Moon, meaning Poochie's third phase will be made in heaven. Fighting Poochie in his second phase is extremely easy. He doesn't move while using his skills, which gave me a lot of opportunities to shoot him. Now Poochie has entered his final phase. I was slightly worried since he could throw knives, but I soon realized that his aim was horrible, and I just needed to keep moving. Poochie only threw knives the entire time. I don't know why he didn't use any speed related skills, because he could have easily killed me with them. That was a pretty long boss fight. Poochie also dropped a storage disk, which I needed desperately. Now we will enter the portal. I keep forgetting to click on them. 
I'm so used to it being automatic. First Sea Moon looked extra thin, and now Made in Heaven looks so muscular. This stand has 4 skills. The first skill is a long range dash. It deals damage to any body you hit, and has a very short cooldown. I would probably die if Poochie used this. The next skill is a charge. It deals a lot of damage. The third skill speeds up time, and gives you a temporary speed boost. The last skill is knife throw. It's hard to aim it, since it fires from your stand's position. The ultimate skill turns Made in Heaven into a world champion boxer, and performs one of the craziest beatdowns I've ever seen. The only bad thing about this stand, is the damage on the barrage skill. Just take a look at it. We will store Made in Heaven using our storage disc, and switch back to our elite stand. Now we will fight a boss way harder than the priests. Buffed Kakyoin. Before that, I want to check out the new skin for this stand. Oh wait. Isn't this skin from that very dark game? I can't do anything after all. This is live. <laughs> the good thing about this skin is that it plays soothing music when I use the mode. The other song sounds so annoying, and I'm glad it's gone. Kakyo and did get a nerf. His HP was reduced by 25k, and the developer also stopped him from flying. I don't think there's any damage nerf, so I'm expecting myself to die a trillion times. <laughs> Alright, just like Poochie, Kakyoin also has phases. Luckily he only has two, and I just made him enter it after 20 minutes. He gets a full heal, and can teleport behind you. Unfortunately, he is bugged in phase 2, and can't attack me. This is truly unfortunate for him. 20 minutes later. And he is dead. Kakyoin also lays an egg when he dies. Yummy! We can use it to evolve Hiraf and Green, which we will do right now. Wow, we got Hiraf and Green first try. I wish it was the same for White Snake. Oh my god! Wow! This stand also has 4 skills. The first skill is a black hole that sucks enemies, and launches them away. The second skill is teleport. It teleports you forward depending on where your character is facing. You can use this skill to go through walls, which is pretty helpful sometimes. The third skill is a vine whip. It kind of reminds me of something. The last Thank skill you. is a grab. He and green quickly grabs a target, and stabs them. The ultimate skill also turns he and green into a world champion boxer, and makes him perform another brutal beatdown. The skills for this stand may look a bit mediocre, but the skin makes this stand worth the trouble. We are going to pay Rohan once again to change our skin, and obtain one of the coolest skins in the game. Yes, this skin is made up of an entire gaming setup. What? I've never seen anything like this before, and its appearance intrigues me. There are some small skills reskin. But I think it would be cool if the developer added some PC related sound effects. Thank you. Anyways that's it for this video. Consider leaving a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.